Namaste, Shravan. Namaste. You are the uh, National Secretary of ABBP. Yes. Okay. I would like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, sure. Uh, what do you think is the main motivation behind naming the Kerala University Cultural Youth Festival the Arabic name Intifada? So, first of all, ABBP is condemning the action of the Students' Union of Kerala University, which is led by Students' Federation of India. So it's not surprising to see that such incidents are happening under the leadership of SFI because it's quite normal for them okay. because there have been many series of incidents mm -hmm. which have which were the leftist groups have taken an anti-national stand. Okay. And and from this incident it is clear that they are planning to normalize a terrorist dictionary, actually, technically okay. speaking. Okay. They for are, the youth. They are normalizing the terrorist terminologies. Okay. And they are trying to fit their narrative, that is, the left jihadi narratives in the college campuses. That is the main agenda behind giving the name of this prestigious Kerala University's cultural fest as Intifada. So I, I was just surprised what is the link between a cultural fest and naming this program as Intifada? Mm -hmm. Because even I have read through a couple of articles even this is the name which usually used by the Hamas terrorist groups mm -hmm. and even I heard from many sources that this name Intifada has been used even in Jammu and Kashmir by the separatist groups. Oh, so you think uh, that I uh, it, it will be like normalizing uh, this Arabic name uh, or to introduce ISIS as a normal thing for all the uh, students union students and the youth in yes, India. That, that, that is what SFI okay. is trying to do with the naming of this uh, youth festival. Okay. How do ABVP plan to counter the left Islamist ecosystem taking over the campuses in Kerala? Yeah. So actually SFI, this left jihadi ecosystem is existing from the root level. Okay. That is why they are dare enough to come into public and give such a public program this name. Right. That is the first thing. And ABUP being a nationalist organization mm -hmm. is always the voice of the common students who is having the nationalistic feeling mm -hmm. and the attitude towards the Bharde ethos, a positive act towards the Bharde ethos. Okay. So in the coming days, ABUP is planning to organize many seminars and intellectual talks okay. about the culture of Bharat and for what Bharat stands for and for what ABUP stands for. So you are going to go to uh, various campuses and yes. then campaign? Yes, even okay. in social medias okay. and through the campus visits, mm -hmm. ABUP is planning to create a nationalistic atmosphere in all the college campuses and university campuses of Kerala. Okay. The recent death of Sita mm -hmm. just shocked. Uh, the people of uh, Kerala, India. Uh, from the postmortem report of Siddharth, uh, it is understood that he was subjected to brutal torture. Uh, now, many leaders of SFI have been arrested. Uh, Kerala governor also intervened. Do you think uh, it is a failure of state government? Yes. That uh, the culprits have not been brought to justice? Surely, this is an utter failure of the state government under the Pinrai Vijayan regime. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, technically speaking, this is not the first time the Kerala society has witnessed such atrocities and hooliganism by the left groups towards the common students and towards the common public. Even there are incidents, they have attacked the police personnel. Mm -hmm. So this is not a new thing. Yeah. But coming to Siddharth's case, it's bit, it's not bit, it's shocking. Yes to see what happened mm -hmm. and even the postmortem report as you have mentioned it's quite shocking yeah. that he has been into a mental torture along with that for the three days yes he was starved yes he was starved and along with that he was naked paradely yeah. in front of a crowd yeah right. so this inhuman insane act so I think only SFI comrades can do such kind of acts. So I that's why I, I, I would like to yeah. link this yeah. incident with what happened in the Kerala University's logo also. Yes. What yes. the logo says, Intifada, that's what they have did in the Siddharth incident. So you being uh, another student's wing, SFI another one, uh, what do you think about the DNA of SFI? What is their, uh, why are they so aggressive and 
it's not about aggressiveness yeah. aggressiveness can be defined in two ways mm. in constructively we can do aggressiveness to achieve the students right mm. but this aggressiveness is different this aggressiveness and the activism of student federation of india is anti national mm -hmm. and anti society okay that's clear from their recent incidents and even in media my question to sfi is till now if any incidents come across bharat mm -hmm. they used to do candlelight marches protest gatherings in across india yes. at least in central universities they used to do right. where were the comrades when the siddhas murder right. happens they were no they were not doing they were not even coming forward and condemning with a candlelight march but instead of that abbp has organized protest okay. gathering yeah. we have burned the effigy of okay. student federation of india okay. and we have did candlelight marches for the siddhar for okay. his justice okay but uh, again with the siddhar case sure. dean uh, the uh, supposed to be the hostel warden also uh, his stand has been uh, to uh, too much amusing or too shocking because he is supposed to make a stand for his student but instead it's been observed that he's been he's supporting the sfi or the attackers he said he's not a security of the college so what do you have to say about that in this case the dean i i even ashamed to call him as a dean because he is an gunda i would like to mention he is a gunda of the communist party of india marxist to get into positions i don't know to whose uh, house jobs he has done i'm not sure what he has done to get into this position okay. first thing he is not at all fit to this role being a university student even i stays in a hostel mm -hmm. so i know how the hostel system works for example i am coming from hyderabad central university if a small incident happened mm -hmm. no students obviously will raise their voice to the administrators yeah. yeah. along with that there is a system huh. there will be sources for the warden to know what is happening, happening. in university right. Right. and that right. is what they are meant for being a dean yeah. of this academics or the whatever right. program he is right. but he has utterly failed right. so this shows in inefficiency of, of the dean, dean mm. as an administrator as an hostel warden and as an human being right very much right yeah. thank you so much travan for your valuable time yeah.